Hello, I'm Paul Priestley and this art tutorial for beginners is part two of my series of videos on learning to draw. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on how to look at an object and reduce it to simple shapes such as squares, triangles, rectangles, etc. We are going to be looking at a small watering can very carefully. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? So, grab your pencil and let's look for some shapes. In the last video, I talked about how to use line and curves and by using your hand or your fingers or your wrist to create curves and to draw nice, even straight lines loosely with your hand. Now we're going to apply that to sketching out a drawing, but we're going to add the idea of looking at shape. Now, if we look at this shape here, we can see that the width of it is a little bit narrower than the height, so it's almost square. So I'm going to draw a little sketch here. Uh, I've got my basic shape. I'm going to take it a bit narrower here, and if I measure that, the width to the height, just needs to be slightly taller. It's got almost a flat base, so we'll bring the base on here. So I'm just drawing, just drawing very simply. It's always a good idea to just sketch things very simply first of all, with a slight curve. So I'm using my hand as I move, as we looked at before. So I've got my slight curve here. So I've got my basic shape. Uh, my box shape. Now I think that's possibly maybe slightly too narrow so I'm just going to widen it a little bit and this is what you can do when you have got a very simple sketch you see. You don't need to rub it out because you can shade over that later on. So I've got my basic shape. You can see the triangle shape I've got on the top here so I take the triangle shape up here a little bit I've got a slight curve and I've got a line comes down this side, so I'm beginning to sketch that in. The top here is a cylinder shape. Uh, it flares out slightly, so we get a slight flaring of the cylinder here, and it's got a nice curved top. So again, I'm using my fingers and my wrist to give me that curved shape to the top. I notice also that the top of the handle turns curves quite out in a semicircle. It starts about halfway down my object, so it starts about here, it starts up here, and the difference between the, uh, the width of the um, curve, if you notice here, if I take the width of the pot and then come up here, it's approximately half the size of the pot. So if my pot is that wide, I can take half of that, put it to the corner here, and I know that approximately this is where it's going to be. So I can come out here quite straight, and then I've got my nice curve shape. So I'm using my hand again to produce that nice curve shape, my fingers, you see. So I've got that nice curve shape coming around here, and I can simply then just continue that curve around as we got here. Now the next thing is the triangle shape. The triangle shape I'm going to measure and I do that by referring back to something I've already drawn. So I look at the rectangle here and I find that if I move my pencil here the point of that is approximately the same width as the can itself. So if I take the size of the can put it here so therefore my point's going to be around about there. So, in that case, then, I can take a line from the bottom of this section here, and it can come down to here. And you see with the line, I'm just stroking my pencil across in one movement. If I take a section up from here, approximately there, to the point, this will give me this line here. So, I'm taking my line up and past and across. So I've got my basic line here as well. This line then I can take from the top of the item, it comes down and it gets slightly narrower as it comes to this point here. And the base again starts from here and works up. And again it gets slightly narrower as it does so. 
So what we've done is got the basic shapes of this sketched out by using measuring shapes. We're looking for shapes in here. We're not looking at a watering can, we're looking at shapes. Shapes is what we're looking at. So we need to work on those. Then once you've got your basic little sketch here, you may have made adjustments as I did here, you can then draw over this and we'll do that. I'm not going to do any shading on this, but we'll just outline it uh, very quickly just so you can see what I'm doing. So we've produced our basic shape, then we can then develop the drawing as we wish. We can add light and shade and so on. If you have, as I did here, made a line which is perhaps not quite in the right position, then when you come to do the shading, you can see you can just simply cover up the line. And I could have developed that further. So this is very simple. Now what we've done here is look for straight lines basically, only just the one curve there. 